So look, bro. Um, first off, what up to my squad? I see everybody been in here. Um, for some reason, they got the notifications going. About 20 people get it before I actually press upload or go live or whatever the case. But shout out to Isaiah, Manny, Angela, Payton. We got a lot of people up here. It was 200 and some, 400 and some, two, whatever it is. Up top, y'all see me looking down, man. I'm going live. And I see y'all in the comments a lot like, Ghost, what's the live stream link? Yada, yada, this, yada, yada, that. Um, if you ain't been here, I'm not finna go ahead and promote this shit. Everybody in the comments gonna be like, look, it's DJ Ghost, it's DJ Ghost. Yeah, it's DJ Ghost. We go ahead and figure out which DJ Ghost it is. Other than that, bro, when y'all see me looking down, that's who I'm talking to. I'm talking to my live stream and to the live. When y'all see me looking up top, I'm talking to the podcast. I do it live and I actually film it on the same get up. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, top story that I seen or that I covered. I just dropped the NBA Youngboy video, but... To keep it real, it's kind of shady what he going through. Not kind of shady because young boy know what he be doing. But this whole YNW Melly situation, bro. And if you up in the video, if you live right now, go like the video. How are the 270 people but only 43 likes? Go like the video. Um, If bro did it, that's scandalous. Because I heard the people that he was with, or the ones that supposedly got smoked, actually had the YNW before they named. So, evidently, that was a part of the squad. I don't look at Melvin like that. I talked to him a few times. Um, I was in L.A., Grammy weekend. He was out here, uh, um, up in L.A., Grammy. Who was that? Justin Kim, good looking on the five. Gangsta fur. Gangsta fur. This nigga stupid. Hey, good looking on the five, bro. And I was supposed to line up the interview, but then, you know, I had some shit with the record label and went to a little lunch or whatever. I passed on it. I'm going to be real with you, and I'm going to tell you why. Because I simply didn't have no time. Best believe I wanted a fucking YNW Melly interview under my belt. Bro, hot in a motherfucker right now. He only 19 years old, and I don't know why for some reason I thought this nigga was up in his 20s. Um... Uh, after I passed on it, he ended up going to jail. And they say he went to jail for smoking his homies. I guess they say it went down like this. Evidently, him and one of his other homeboys set up his other two homeboys. Killed them. Put them in the car. Drove them to the hospital. When they drove them to the hospital, YNW Melly say... His boys was caught in the drive-by. So he tried to cover it up and tried to... That's what they said, bro. I don't know if he... I, we don't know when the niggas go to court. You know what I'm saying? But if that is, that's scandalous. And that's why I be telling y'all, nigga. But y'all be like, goes. And it's not the main reason I don't collab with YouTubers. I don't, now I'm going to start doing collabs with YouTubers for the simple fact I got over a million subscribers. The only reason why I wasn't fucking with it at first... It's because I don't want nobody telling me they put me on. I don't want nobody telling me, hey, without this video, Ghost wouldn't have this. Nigga, I got a million subscribers by my damn self. You know what I'm saying? By my motherfucking self. But one of the reasons why I really don't do, not videos with YouTubers, but I just don't really fuck with nobody. It's for the simple fact, if I mess with somebody, they got to be around my age, right? So we're going to say you're around 28 years old. 30 years old. Um, it's gonna be hard for me to fuck with you on a personal level. It's gonna be hard for you to bring you to my house, bro. It's gonna be hard for me to smoke with you, kick it with you, let my guard down around you for the simple fact. If you're 28 years old, nigga, I don't know what you did in your past 28 years of life. You know what I'm saying? You probably set up your homies. You done probably stole from your mama. Got your girl, ran a train on you. Done... And then come straight to your face with a smile. Asking how can they help me? You don't see that shit. Niggas don't have a jacket on like when you go to prison, nigga. You can go to this prison and this prison. Say if you up at San Quentin right now, you finna go to Pelican Bay. As soon as you get to Pelican Bay, bro, you gonna have a jacket like, yeah, this nigga did this, this, that, that, and this, and that, and that, and that, and that. You know what you fucking with. But when it comes to the streets, bro, you don't know at all. Bars in, good looking on the fire, bro. 
Oh shit, my bad, my bad, my bad. Y'all gotta stop telling me to make y'all moderators. I done made like 20 moderators already and I don't see half of them niggas up in there. I only be seeing like three or four sometimes because I still see people up in here talking regular, disrespecting other people up in the chat. Like I told y'all before, bro, this ain't got to be one of the fucking pages where you can come on here, talk shit like, oh, I just fucked my mom. Oh, I just did the, 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 the I just did the. If you're a little kid, go to school. Look, go to sleep. School tomorrow. It's Friday. You know what I'm saying? It's your last day. Turn up. You can come over here and just be regular. You said, I hear that new nip. Yeah, I heard it. I mean, no, I didn't hear it. I'm going to react to it. That's why I ain't heard it yet. But I know he got one with Roddy Rich, though. The nigga, I follow him on Instagram. He promoting the shit out of it. Like you supposed to do, bro. Yeah. You said no school tomorrow. What, what, what holiday is tomorrow? Let me tell y'all. She said, did you DM Nikki yet? Let me tell you something, bro. Yesterday, that'd, that'd be thirsty as shit. Nicki Minaj started following me on Instagram yesterday. Alright. How thirsty would I be as soon as she started following me? Like, hey, what's up? Whoop, whoop, whoop. And let me tell you another thing, bro. As much as I love her, as much as I fuck with Nicki, I think she beautiful. I think she's sexy. I think she all that. You know what I'm saying? Nicki Minaj, dope. But at the same time, I know how I am when I'm in a relationship, and I know how I am about my woman, nigga. Don't disrespect it because you feel like you're somebody. Don't disrespect me. Don't do woof de woof whatever, right? And I say that to say this. She has a boyfriend, publicly known boyfriend, on her page, on her channel, bro. I'm not finna DM this woman saying, what's up with it? Oh, I see you follow me. I guess I guess you think I'm that nigga, or right? I see that's that little killed childish ass bullshit. You can have a crush from a distance. I crushed on her before she was with him. I don't never come out of disrespect. It's just a little lust, man. I'm not finna go ahead and DM this woman. Y'all niggas is tripping. Tripping hard. Y'all gotta start putting and, and, and I told y'all this a while before, bro. Y'all be seeing YouTubers. Y'all be seeing YouTubers when they be taking breaks on YouTube. Niggas start uploading. Twice a week, then once a week, then once a month, then once every two months, and all this type of shit. Like, bro, we love y'all. Don't get it. I wouldn't go that long for long of a break, for the simple fact that YouTubers, the people that watch YouTube, they the ones that got you popping, nigga. So you're not finna take it upon yourself to go ahead and say. I mean, I'm not finna take it upon myself to go ahead and say, all right, I'm breaded up, nigga. I got back now. I'm cool. I ain't finna get these niggas no more videos. It's not that look. YouTube video is supposed to be entertaining. Understand that. All right. But at the same time, you know, funny comes into play. Being real comes into play. When people watch my YouTube videos, I get DMs all the time telling me, bro, good looking on what you said. You checked my life, yada, yada, yada. A couple months ago, this nigga, mama called me like, my son started going back to school and all this type of shit because of you or whatever. So how the fuck can I take it upon myself to go ahead and say I'm cool on YouTube? I ain't making no more videos. Now I admit it. Look, a million subscribers, this shit is way bigger than me, bro. Way bigger than me. And with Nicki Minaj, I was saying all that to uh, talk about Nicki Minaj, bro. Um, Y'all be up there. I was I was reading the comments like, oh, yeah, she, 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 go ahead and bend the rubber. Soon, soon, because... As soon as I post, as soon as she posted, shit, everybody was just thirsty with it. And y'all got to understand, that is a real woman, too. Like, Nicki Minaj is a real grown woman, bro. Them people are not bots. They not robots. I know it seemed cool for y'all to talk all that mess online, but goddamn. Y'all got to understand, y'all in the comments, we can't see y'all face. Some of y'all don't even got pictures. Y'all just got the avatar that come with the shit. We can't see y'all face at all, bro. But when you Nicki Minaj, I looked at her page, she got 97.5 million followers. 97.5 million followers. And those are people that are on the internet. Imagine people that's not on the internet that see her on a regular. She got more people now that know who she is, bro. Fuck talking about Nicki. Why don't y'all realize how strong she is for taking, look, all this little backlash she be getting, bro. 
Nikki this, Nikki that, Nikki this, Nikki that, Nikki this on the regular. And still be in her pictures, just smiling like a motherfucker, teasing, performing like shit ain't. Psh. Yeah, you gonna talk your shit. Straight up. Nigga, and you will feel some type of way. Ain't nobody touching. Look, I mess with Cardi too, but ain't nobody touching Nicki Minaj, period, bro. I don't care if y'all up here like. Oh, yeah, Nicki Minaj, this and that, this and that. Nigga, five years ago, four years ago, y'all was on her dick. All her songs was banging. All the females was riding to it. But when Narky, um, Narky, when Cardi come out, have a little competition, y'all gonna go ahead and go to the other. Bro, no, you just can't rock with both of them straight up being a fucking bandwagon. Cardi B songs is dope. Don't get me wrong. But Nicki Minaj, she, 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 she get it in, bro. She do. Yeah, fans are fickle. And you got to understand, once you realize, once you really do realize that, I'm going to tell you right now, because you're being good looking out, I'm going to tell you right now. Say you got 50 comments on the internet. Say Yeah, say you got 50 comments on the internet. And I'm talking about all bad comments, all 50 of them. Thirty-five of those is gonna be from kids. Once you realize that kids are, oh, mom, my friend got on the black, the black sketchers. You gotta give me the black sketchers, mom. My friend know how to do this. I need to learn how to do it, mom. I need that backpack like my friend, mom. Once you understand that they bring that mentality onto the internet, you don't like uh, Nikki? Yeah, fuck Nikki. Yeah, you right, bro. Fuck me. I said it too, bro. Fuck me. Then you can go ahead and kick back and just be cool and just understand. Like, nigga, I'm finna get my bread, get my money, and just bounce about this bit. That's why comments don't, they, they, they don't bother me and they don't phase me. Because no matter what, look, let me tell you this. No matter how much hate mail she get, 6 9 get, anybody else that people don't like, I promise you, it's only 1% of them. Not even 1%. It's half percent. Half of a half percent that's going to post them a person and say the same thing they said online. They're not going to do it, bro. So, if you Nicki Minaj, bro, and you've been walking around for the last five years, and you've been getting all this hate online, and now one fan came up to you, and boop, bop, bink, that's for Cardi. Boobock Bink, your album is trash. You need to go. You need to woo. This for me. You understand all this shit is fake, nigga. I'm finna get my bread. Can't believe I was tripping on the comment, nigga. And just like I said, with them 50 comments, 35 of them, you could tell they little kids. If it was another 50 comments, bro, you could tell just by what somebody said. You could tell if they are grown up and they're not even an adult. You could tell if they mature or not. Being mature is the it's in right now. Being yourself, being in. Being a follower, being out. So why the fuck you want to be out? You 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 niggas piss by yourself, sleep by yourself, got your own brain. You get dressed by yourself. You was born by yourself. You gonna die by yourself. So why are you gonna follow somebody to the? I, I hate you niggas. Oh God, I do. I, that should be pissing me off, bro. That nobody can be their own. They. Be you, Charlie, Charles, Taisha, Jimmy, Ray, Raymond, whatever the fuck. Be you, bro. Hey, good looking out on, 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 my bad, I was up there inventing this shit, but good looking out on that. Uh, Gangsta Fur and Kush B, we already saw you, uh -huh, bro, my bad. Yeah, and um, that's why it... it it trips me out, like, world star. I follow them, too, you know what I'm saying? And you can post, you can post, they can post anybody or anything. And as soon as one person have a trendy, funny comment, you see everybody comment the same thing. You see, I, I want to be the nigga that just, just, just don't fuck with me or just let me be me. And that's the reason why people fuck with me. And people will fuck with you too if you was you, bro. I swear to God, it don't matter. You can have, nigga, you can be Jay-Z right now, bro. 
You can be Jay Z, have six friends, all five of his friends is yes man. You the only one that's not. Man, Jay, that album bang, nigga, that song bang, whoop de whoop whoop. You pull it to the side, bro, that wasn't it. You know what I'm saying? That shit was not popping. Come on, Jay, man, let's go ahead and go to Cancun after that. We're gonna go to Dubai, man. You just sold a million, whoop de whoop whoop. We just sold a million, bro, but we could just go out in the city tonight. Like, nigga, we ain't gotta spend all this money. Once that nigga realized, like, bro, this nigga keep it 100, he ain't always like the nigga that wanna just. Then he fuck with you more. He respect you more. Them five other niggas ain't gonna last nowhere. You know what I'm saying? They they gonna go right back to somebody else that's popping and be a yes man to them. Yes man or broke man. I promise you. Add that up. Let me tell me tell me one yes man that got money. Tell me one yes man that got money. Or that's really getting it. Hell no, this nigga sitting around waiting on somebody else come up so he can get the crumbs off the cake. <sighs> Bitch. He said, academics, look, no matter what, how you feel about academics, that nigga's not no yes man, bro. Academics is not no yes man. That nigga say what he want. He's a, I don't like that man. And that's what I mean. And, 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 and I'm going to keep it 100. That's, that's an example. You not finna get academics to, every, look, 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 let me tell you something. Academics start fucking with 6 9 heavy. That's where everybody looked at him and blemished it. Nobody didn't want to actually look at the fact that that was probably his real friend. Fuck the music. You ain't seen academics. He just now, this is the first time, just now dropping a record with 6 9 after everything is over, bro. You ain't see academics ride nobody wave. No matter who it is, bro. When it comes to Meek Mill. To the smallest motherfucker, he gonna speak his mind. He gonna make the video about it. He ain't gonna bite his tongue about it. And I don't know too many rappers like that, bro. I'm being real with you, nigga. I don't. Y'all gotta understand. Academics been on the internet for how long? Five years? Six years? Nigga, I'm barely reaching two. I'm barely scraping two. And from what I see in these past two years, y'all give me one video to where he went back on his word. Somebody pressed him and he said, sorry, or okay, I wouldn't do that no more. Academics is a snitch. If anybody tell them records are public, please send me over that paperwork. Send it over to me, bro. And if he is a snitch, which I don't think he is. But if he did tell on somebody, or if he did do something, that nigga never portrayed himself to be no gangster. And then y'all talking about, um, who you say, Vic Mensa? That's what I mean. He talks shit about Vic Mensa too. Every chance he get. He was talking about a trash can one day and then mention Vic, Vic Mensa album. Like, you'll probably find that album up in there. And then that nigga said, I don't even want to rap. I just want to prove to Big Miss so I can sell more records than him. It's, 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 it's a couple niggas. I, I done seen him go at that and that rappers wouldn't even go at. Period. He said, why W. Melly innocent? Why W. Melly ain't innocent or guilty? He just innocent until proven guilty. You know what I'm saying? They locked him up. And, 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 and YNW Melly, I just found out today, he got denied bail. If they deny your bail, they got something on you, bro. <clears throat> Straight up. If they deny your bail and they willing to go through court hearings with your lawyer, and they willing to pull out 40 and 50 pieces of paperwork of evidence on why your bail should be denied, then that shit have to be kind of strong. And this is 2019. I keep telling you, I, I, I tell y'all, nigga, this is not the 80s. This is not the 90s, bro. I was watching this segment on NBC like two months ago where it said the average person. I'm talking about the average person, me and you, bro. The average person get filmed 56 times a day. 56 times a day. And I'm talking about whether you walk past the streetlight or you cross the streetlight. When you walk into Walmart 
or you walk in the corner store. You can be standing on a bus stop right here and it could be somebody driving past in their car on their Snapchat and accidentally get your body in their photo. You getting it from anywhere, bro. Average. If you do a grind today, today, my nigga, you, 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 you better have a sniper rifle. And look, your target better be fucking 10 miles away for you to try to get split clean. No evidence, no nothing. Because if you, if you think you, look, if you, I'm tell you right now, if you think you finna kill somebody you know and get away with it, you stupid. I know I'm giving up too much game, but if you finna kill somebody you know and get away with it, you stupid. Be ready to do some time. Or, or yo, your money better be long. Or it better be your first offense. You know what I'm saying? It better be something. Because uh, you getting caught, bro. Straight up. That's why I don't get how these... <laughs> Man. You got niggas up here offing their wives. Driving all the way to Calabasas. To Arizona desert. To the fucking Colorado mountains. Trying to hide their wife, bro. You the first suspect. It don't matter. What you do, we finna, they ain't gonna look at you, bro. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. But somebody to go ahead and accuse you of smoking two of your homeboys. What that say? Yeah. No, we gonna go ahead and make the phone calls. And I told y'all how this go, man. Um, when we do do the phone calls, don't be mad at me. I'm just a messenger. If your flow is weak, or if we are on the phone chopping it up, it ain't even got to be about no flow type shit, no 16. Male or female. And niggas tell me to hang up all your time is up. That conversation boring. Then we getting you up out of here. It's not just me. <laughs> Nigga, I love, hey, look, I love to hear myself talk. I can talk to you all night. But these motherfuckers don't want to hear that shit. At all, bro. 798 people up in here. Go like the video. It's only 290 likes. Yeah. And if you under, look, right, what time is it? It's 11 11 on the West Coast. Midwest. It's 1 11. East Coast. It's 2 11. If you under the age of 18, do not pick up the phone to try to. Uh, do not put your number right here, bro, because I do not. Look, I don't want your mama walking in the room seeing you live on the phone with some nigga, then it's me. Now I'm looking like R. Kelly and shit. You know, that's not finna happen. If you under the age of 18, just watch and listen. You are not finna. I'm not finna call you, nigga. I'm cool on that. Cause y'all be trying to get that shit. Nah, bro. But my mom cool, though. She straight. I'm. She right here. She, get the fuck out of here, bro. She ain't. Nah. And another thing, like I said yesterday. And to the chat, first of all. I'll go back to that yesterday shit. But to the chat. Don't be doing none of that punk shit. If you think the flow is hard, don't be up there putting the shit emoji, shit emoji, shit emoji. If you think it's fire, just go ahead and put it fire. But on the other hand, if you think it's garbage, let's get this trash ass nigga the fuck up. I don't care about them inboxing me because they be in their feelings after this is over on Instagram. I don't care, bro. Nigga, you can't rap. Period. They said it. And I got it. I'm delivering a message. And sometimes I be agreeing with the motherfucker. Like this nigga can't rap, bro. We 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 need to. You know what I'm saying? Get him the fuck out of here. Nah, hold on. I'm about to call somebody right now, though. And it's gonna be me that call you from a block number. Cause some of y'all niggas, y'all put y'all number up here. As soon as I call you, two seconds later, you be like. I'd be like, what's up, bro? Who this? Bitch. Like, what the fuck? Nigga, you just put your number on the chat. I told you I was going to call Block. And niggas act like I just be out here capping and don't expect me to call them. You know what I'm saying? My nigga, I'm going to call... Bro. 
This shit funny as fuck. Hold on. I was serious about the uh the the, the whole little parenting thing too, nigga. I don't want to hear. Why this shit going so far? I don't want to hear no mom, nobody mom in the background. You know what I'm saying? Cause that shit gonna throw me off. Pick up the phone, bro. I would say your name, but even though I fuck with everybody in the chat, we got some weirdos over here. As soon as I say your name, they're going to go back up there and call your number. We'll see what niggas is. Hello? What's up, bro? How's it going, man? What you up to? Watching it, you feel? Yeah, I know you be watching it. That's how I got your number. <laughs> What do you, what about it? I mean, I feel like what happened was is that there was like a conspiracy thing going on. Like, you know how they be doing these blood sacrifices? Like, I don't fully believe it, but like, I feel like they got caught in the act of like a blood sacrifice. You serious, bro? And, like, they try to patch it up. Yeah, I don't know, like, cause I'm, I'm in the music myself. I'm a music producer, and I've been around some of these folks, man, and it, the way they move is just kind of weird, you know? So, so you feel like he sacrificed both his homies? But usually, but usually when you sacrifice, when you sacrifice somebody, which I don't believe in this shit, but usually when you sacrifice somebody, somebody else do it for you. You're not the one that's going to pull a, and do them both. Because then if you get caught, you gone. You know what I'm saying? So hold on, hold on, hold on. You believe in the Illuminati? I partially like on the sacrifice. Definitely. Hold on, you saying partially on the sacrifice and partially on a um a new Yeah. Basically. What, what makes I mean, it? I feel like they kinda have to have something like similar to that to make all this run a certain way because I feel like they ain't killing folks no more in the Illuminati because like people are starting to find out. So instead of that they try to instead of killing them now, I feel like they just lock them up and then they get a new guy. That's next up in the music, and they take his spot. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what the Illuminati really is? What is your definition of the Illuminati? The Illuminati, I think we got the same definition of them. They the yeah. secret, they the secret cult that basically extort motherfuckers for money and all this type of shit, right? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, bro. They I don't mean, give a I fuck about like rappers. At all. The Illuminati is higher up. Has shit to do with. Rap money is nothing. <laughs> I'm telling you now. Rap money is nothing. I don't want to go all the way into it. But just do a little research bro. I'm talking about. All the way to the White House. That's what the Illuminati fuck. It ain't, it ain't got nothing to do with no rappers. They don't give a fuck about us at all. Or this culture. I'm telling you now. I feel that, but you know what? One thing that you gotta admit this though, they do use these folks for the culture though. I feel like they got their hands in the culture, they got control of these young folks' minds. Cause a lot of these folks, they're gonna listen to this music and, and, and they're gonna get influenced, you know, easily. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, my little brothers, they, they look up to a little pump like a god and stuff. I'm just like, I look at them just like a normal person, you know what I'm saying? But they- That's because Lil Pump, Lil, Lil Pump got the youth, Lil Pump around the internet. That's why. Your that. brother, your, the Illuminati not making your little brother listen to Lil Pump, right? Exactly. So it's, so, it's, so it's tens of millions of little brothers like yours around the world that listen to Lil Pump on the regular. That's why Lil Pump is popping. It's not the Illuminati, bro. Yeah, yeah, I feel, I feel that. I mean, this shit but, is going to keep getting crazy, I feel like, man. And, and um... I feel like it's the, the Rockefellers. The Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, they have the upper hand in all this because they own all the pay. I, I hope to the world uh, five years from now, man, or, or more, I mean, they could come up with a solution to all this, bro. It's just really ugly, but um, I wanted to get, like, your input on, like, how do you feel like the world's going to be, like, say, like, 10 years from now or 20 years from now? 
like the Jetsons. You ever seen that cartoon? Jetsons? Nah, I never seen Nah, the Jetsons. You ever seen that oh, cartoon? Jetsons. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where they living up in space, like everything, something. flying cars and all that type of shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, but look, bro, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a holler at you. Good looking on the phone call. Yeah, man. Thanks for giving me a call, man. And, um, how, hey, 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 how, how old are you? How old are you? I'm 24. Uh, I'm a music producer out of Orlando, Florida. I make beats, trap beats of all types, just all types of music, man. That's, that's my thing. Yeah, I just asked how old you were. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, yeah, but, but, so, bro, I'm, uh, yeah, good looking on the phone call. Yeah, man, you have a blessed day, by the way, man. Have a good night. All right, what's up? Peace. Peace. Nah. Yeah, he 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 had a he had a how can I an interesting point on things I should say. We gonna make some more phone calls, man. But uh, no youngest though. He said the Jetsons. Yeah, nigga, them is my days. The Jetsons, bro. I was prepared for this shit today just from watching that cartoon. I be telling y'all, bro. The Jetsons came out in the early '90s, nigga. And they had everything they had today. When y'all see, when y'all see fucking Back to the Future and them flying boards and all that type of shit, and y'all see these, look, the last podcast we had a, uh, we had a conversation on, uh, on aliens, right? And I was like, yeah, I believe that shit is real. But anyway, like I was saying with the Justice cartoon, movies and cartoons be probably for shit that be coming today. Armageddon, all these little alien movies that come out. I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm going to tell you this right now. I don't give a fuck who you is. Who you is. The smartest person you know. Your mama know. Your daddy know. The smartest person at Harvard, nigga. Stanford. Ain't nobody in the world. Nobody in the world. Smart enough. Not even. I'm not even going to say smart enough. Nobody in the world. Had the imagination to think about aliens, flying saucers, outer space, all this shit that seems so fucking nigga. We seen this shit. There ain't nobody, nobody imagination made this shit up. This shit is real, bro. It's real. I'm telling y'all. It ain't. Look, the movies prepare you for shit. I'm telling you. Yeah. He said scientists. Scientists not smart enough to think about no aliens, like I said, flying saucers, outer space, how they look, they body, they structure, they telecommunication, they nobody is smart enough to imagine that and how the whole world follow through with his imagination and make all these movies, you know what I'm saying, and then make all these scientific Come on, man. Motherfuckers been here before. And let me tell you something that I start doubting. And y'all might look at me stupid, but oh well. Y'all know how my mind be wondering. I don't think dinosaurs existed. <laughs> I don't think dinosaurs existed, bro. I'm being real with you. I had a two and a half conversation about this. With my auntie, my nigga. And I'm just being 100 with you. Dinosaurs extinct before any man walked the earth. Period, nigga. Year one. Hold on, let's take this back, bro. Let's take this back to year one. Like how this is 2019. I'm talking about year one. He said that is a theory, though. I'm being 100 with you. The reason why I look at it as a theory, though, like, if they been extinct before any man walked this earth, how the fuck do we know how they sound? Y'all know how we having all these dinosaurs? They be having different noises and shit all up on the movies, and they be having, like, you know what I'm saying? There be so many things I be questioning, my nigga, like, how we know what this nigga look like? Because best believe... With dinosaurs extinct in year one, right? I mean, with dinosaurs extinct, and I'm talking about year one when man started walking the earth. 
Best believe these cavemen didn't know what the fuck these dinosaur bones were. And no, they did not preserve them right. They wore them in their ears. They wore their bones in their nose. They wore their bones. They was building their little teepees. And, and I say all that to say this. Today in 2019, you can walk in your local museum and see a skeleton of a dinosaur. <laughs> Who the fuck preserved it that long? You know what I'm saying? How? How? I'm about to make a phone call because I think I'm going. I'm going too in, my nigga. I'm going too in, bro. Who? Who we got? Like I said, I could, I talked about this shit for two hours earlier, and and I'm convinced these these things don't exist. I'm telling you. You said who? I'm gonna make a phone call. Hold on, they going by too far. I'm gonna see who dropped their shit uh, two times. Who dropped their number two times? Hell no. Ghost, you call international? No, I don't, bro. <laughs> that shit costs you much. He said, Do I think the earth resets? Dude, look, look, this is this, this, this what people gotta understand, bro. Without, without, mm, I hate that I'm having this conversation because, first of all, how can I say this? First off, I believe in God. Let me lay it out there, flat out. I'm not an atheist at all. Disclaimer, I believe in God. Alright. But check this out. We we, we, we we going all the way back. Like I said, this shit didn't start with us. This didn't start with your mama. This didn't start with your grandma. This didn't start with your grandma, mama, grandpa, grandpa. This I'm talking about year one. Not year 2019. Year one, bro. Um, this world today will be chaotic. Very, 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 very chaotic. If the President of the United States, our President of the United States, is 206 countries right now in this universe, in this world, I mean, 206 countries. Um, which means it's 206 presidents. But the United States president is unofficially the world's president. All right? I'm, I'm telling y'all that. The United States president is unofficially the world's president, period. With that being said, if the president came out today, right now, and said that aliens exist, this world would go crazy. Everybody would go chaotic. I'm talking about all 206 countries. We'll start preparing for shit. We wouldn't know what to do. We'd think they coming tomorrow. We'd think they doing all type of shit. Right? So we're going to keep it on the hush with that one. We ain't going to say shit. We're going to keep it on the hush. Because if that, if that came out, bro, it'd be fucked up. The government is smart. And they shield shit for the better, believe it or not. Another thing, like I said, I believe in God. I'm not saying that the government made up God. I'm not saying that. All right. But what I'm saying is, if people didn't believe in God or higher up, this world would be chaotic as fuck. Everybody would be dead. This shit would look like some third world country where everybody just getting their heads chopped. So you got people that believe. You got all these different, you know what I'm saying? You got the Christian, you got the Wooty Woops, you got the the Baptist, the Jehovah Witness, the Muslims. You got all this different. So people believe that way you live life right. All right? It's what you're supposed to do to the government. Without laws, this world would be chaotic as fuck. 
You fight, you go to jail. You steal, you go to jail. You kill, you go to jail. You do anything small, you go to jail. The government know how to put a hole on the people, bro. Straight up and down. I'm being 100 with you. Yeah. Nah, that's understand that. Nah, I pumped and get cried. This, this is what I mean by little kids when they go over here and they go ahead and see some shit and they ride it off this. Oh yeah, this happened, this happened. They ride it off that. Go ahead and put your numbers though. Yeah. If he would have got hit, my phone would have been blowing up. Trust me. You said what? My bad. And, and, and I told you niggas, if you ain't got no, let me tell y'all the most cap shit, right? Every time I call them a number and you ain't got no profile picture, then the ones that seem to be fake, then the ones that want to get on the mic like, me, me, like little kids shit. I ain't, nobody ain't got no time for that. We chilling right now. The live been up for 42 minutes now. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just chilling. You do not have to do all that to get no attention, bro. You can call and just be like, hey, I just want to say what's up. Oh, all right then. All right, for sure. Well, never mind. Don't call and do that shit because I'm going to hang up in your face. But, yeah, y'all ain't got to do all that little the cap ass of bullshit, though. You know how to go and get a bag, don't you? Hey. Pick up the phone, bro. Hello. Oh. What up? Yo, what's good, bro? What's up? Where you at? What city you in? Uh, I'm in Georgia, bro. I'm in Georgia. You in Georgia? Uh, Where at, though? Um, uh, I'm located in uh, Perry, Georgia. Nigga. I'm located in like the middle of Georgia area. Shit like that. Oh, yeah, what's up? What you got going? What you got to say? You said what? Yo, yo, what you on the church? You on the booth? Oh, no, right now I'm just chilling in my house. Yo, yo, playback or something. Stupid. Hey, 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 look. I'm about to get some. Hey, fix your phone, bro. Let me get somebody else up in here. We trying to, yeah, we trying to get somebody up in here that want to talk, talk. I got something to say about this shit, because. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga was like, I'm up at Perry, Georgia. Shout out to Perry, Georgia. I didn't even know they made those. Yeah. Nigga, I, I, I found out about, uh, uh, uh. Savannah when I start fucking with Quando Rondo. Yeah. That's Prairie though. That's where he from, shit. Hold on, my bad. Y'all niggas up here keep putting y'all number without no pick. I'm not gonna call it. Subscribe to Maxima 666. Somebody block that fool. Real quick. Man's phone, you up in the chat, bro? What's up? Drop your number, nigga. That's a real one. I, I remember the day ones, bro. And I'm talking about when I first started YouTube. That nigga was around here. Hold on. Fuck this shit. But I see the moderators. Queen Sheba, I see you a moderator up in here. And everybody throwing up devil signs and shit. You need to get them up out of here. Hello. What's up, bro? What's poppin'? What city you in? I'm in Stockton right now. Oh, yeah? I'm from the Bay, yo. What you up to? What you got to say, man? Chillin'? Nah, I'm saying what's good with you. See if you really gonna call. 
You seeing if I was on call? Why? You got some input? Or are you just seeing if I was on call? Nah, just see if you gonna call and shit. What the fuck? I be expecting that. You said what? I see you got love for your fans. Yeah, nigga, but you see, we up here trying to have some conversations. I thought you was about to call me like, yeah, uh, I see what you mean about the aliens, bro. Or yeah, I got a 16 nah, for you, bro. Or yeah, I got a, uh, and he said, nah, I want to see I if you're really going to call. Shit, but, nah, it's just, you basically family, you feel me? Just, you know? Oh, yeah, that's what's up, bro. Appreciate that one. Yeah, I'll be seeing you later. All right, fuck everything I just said, dude. You said what? Hey, hey. Oh, you said you was about to donate real quick? What? Oh, yeah, I knew it. But shit, what you about to do? Shit, about to go check in my baby. I was just checking your, your little live there real quick. Oh, that's what's up, bro. Well, shit, hit. All right, for sure. Hit me then, man. Yeah. Stay up. Go, 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 yeah, go yeah, get your little one. Keep all right, for sure, bro. We're hunting. Uh, yeah. Uh, you said who? To all you niggas that be calling and y'all really got something to say, or if y'all don't, that's all we be doing. You ain't got to be right there like, uh, 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 uh. This nigga put two dollars and said, "Call me if you don't knock that shit off." <laughs> hey, no, I just play it, bro. Hold on, let me. Hold on. Put your number again. I missed it. Yeah, usually, usually it go up to the top, but even YouTube was like, that's only, hey, look, that's only two dollars. We ain't putting your shit up there, bro. We, we, hey, look, we gonna leave you in the regular chat. Like, fuck it. Huh? I ain't lying though. Usually it go right up there to the top, y'all. When somebody donate, that nigga shit went. This shit just went straight up the chat like YouTube said like fuck your two dollars nigga. Boo yeah, easy money, good looking out, bro. It's appreciated. Why you didn't put your number, nigga? That's when you supposed to put your number when you drop that. Nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <Yo>, shit. <laughs> that shit is so <laughs> I don't know if I blow, but that shit is so funny how I just keep going up the chat. <laughs> your shit is not getting stoned up there. They, look, we are not highlighting your shit. <laughs> Fuck your two dollars. Hey, look. That nigga did it twice, too. Like, it's going to work this time. No, it's not. <laughs> No, it's not, nigga. I'm just, hey, good looking at all the $4, bro. I'm just fucking with you, nigga. Believe me. He like, fuck goes. Unsubscribe. But guess what? You can't refund on the live chat. You can't get no refund on the live chat, nigga. Hey, look. My bad, bro. My bad. My bad. All right, fuck. Y'all niggas. Oh Lord. Hey, good look look, bro. Gabrielle, good look. Gabriel, good oh, he put the fire this time. Let me call this nigga. My bad, bros. Hendo. I'm gonna hit you up next. Yeah, my fault. <laughs> this nigga ain't playing no games. Nigga like. Oh. Nah, hold on, my fault. Ah, uh, what up, bro? I was like, damn. What you? <laughs> I was like, damn, my nigga put two dollars in the penny shit. That nigga put two dollars in the penny shit. Then you put that. <laughs> nah, nigga, you straight, you straight. What's up, though? What's up with you, bro? I got, I got a sixteen for you. Oh yeah, it's fire. You said what? Let's get the chat know if it's fine. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right, look. To everybody that's new up in here, bro, this is how this shit go. 
If his shit is fire, all right, and there ain't no 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 hater shit either. If it's fire and y'all think it's dope, go ahead and put the fire emoji like, oh, this nigga get off. But if it's garbage, y'all put a grip of X emoji so we can go ahead and get this nigga out of here. We do it just like the Apollo. We won't be like, oh, man, um, it's not that great, man. Can you try it tomorrow? Stop. Fuck that. We just hanging up in his face and we just going to keep on. You know what I'm saying? So you ready? I'm ready, coach. All right, let's go. Bad bitches in their fucking wooden niggas. Filling on the booty dick, harder than a missile. Ass in the circle, and he's filling. Some litter, don't be pulling them up. Let you holding up the pistol. She likes to drink that tequila. Hennessy for all my niggas. She don't take none of these pictures. Fuck it. I fucked up, bro. Yeah, you did fuck up. Get the fuck out of here. Who we got next up, nigga? That nigga. I fucked up, ghost. Yeah, you already know. Hey, look, you can try tomorrow, but. I got your number saved right here, and I will not be calling you back tonight. Being 100 with you, nigga. That nigga put that $2 didn't work. Put the other two didn't work. Put the five, it worked. But that freestyle didn't work, so we had to. Hey, look. What a trash can that? This nigga the fuck up out of this bitch. Who we got next, though? Oh, Hendo, I told you I was going to call you. You know what I'm saying? My bad. And I be telling y'all niggas, when y'all when y'all when y'all be rapping on y'all phone, it ain't no reason to be nervous, nigga. Y'all in the phone, y'all in the house with just your phone, bro. That's it. It's just the audience on the I don't know. I know how to separate the two. I don't be nervous on camera because I know when I'm doing YouTube videos, I really be in a in a room looking dumb as hell. Cause I feel like I'm in here just talking to the camera. Like, with nobody when you think about it, I'm just in here talking to the camera, bro. Until you upload the shit on YouTube and then that's when everybody see it. But other than that, nigga, I understand I'm just... Some of y'all be on the phone like... Like everybody in the room with y'all niggas. Like, nigga, just rap to the phone, bro. Just say something to the phone. Nah, hold on. Let me get my boy up in here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Calling you, bro. Yeah, what's up, nigga? Yeah, what's going on? Shit, what's poppin'? Speak up, speak up a little bit. I got, yo, I got, I got sixteen for you. Yeah, but you got some value for me. Speak up a little bit. All right, hold up. You hear me now? All right, I hear you. Oh uh, yeah, what oh, hold on. what you do for Valentine's Day, nigga? Oh, shit, I just tell myself you went to Red Lobster. Oh, oh you got big money, huh, nigga? Nigga ah. You know, Valentine's Day in the middle of the month. You up here going to Red Lobster in the middle of the month, nigga, you got big money. This nigga that donated that donated fifteen dollars in the chat, you up right now. Nigga, what kind of car you drive, bro? What, what? I got the, I got a Dodge fifteen hundred. It's tax return season. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got your tax back. At least you being real with it. Shit. Straight up. That's the only thing I hate about being on YouTube now. Nigga, I owe money. I used to get... Damn. Man, I used to be getting like seven bands back around this time. How, how much you get back? Because I'm all in your pockets. Nah, that's sexy. I got about 1500 back. Oh, uh, you ain't get shit. Why you ain't claim no kids, nah, bro? Man. You ain't claim no kids, nah. huh? You didn't nah, claim... You ain't gotta have no kids to claim no kids. Oh, shit. Oh, I forgot. This is going public. Hey, let me hear that 16, bro. Never, I, I, I almost fuck. Let me hear that 16. Let, let, yeah. That was dope, bro. That, that was dope right there. I fuck with that one right there. 
Hey, hey, good thing you put that uh that 15 up there and highlighted because I wouldn't have seen your number. <laughs> but but you didn't care, you got your tax, you would have put another 15 if I didn't see it, huh? I feel you. <laughs> But hey, good looking out, bro. That 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 shit right there is dope. Every week, every week, the numbers I'ma do, what I'ma start doing, cause I do this shit like three or four times a week, is I'ma say the numbers and probably like on Friday or Saturday, I'ma let all y'all niggas go at it and then we crown a nigga and I send somebody like a hundred dollars, a hundred and fifty dollars for the free stuff. That'd be That's dope. Big. I just thought about yeah. that. Genius ghost. <laughs> no, I'll just yeah. But hey, shit. Much respect, much love from the edge, my nigga. Shout out from Texas. For sure. Go through your shit. For sure, bro. For sure. 100. Uh huh? Yeah. 100. Hey, hey, good looking out on that fly. Who is that? Sarah Fredo. Good looking out. Appreciate it. But, um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna start doing, man. Every. Hold on. Let me screenshot this nigga number real quick. Because every nigga... Yeah, that's what we're going to do. At the end of the week, the three or four that win, we're going to have them battle it off. And then go ahead and send them bread like that. You said you lit? I'm lit too, bro. You ain't the only one. Trust me. Ebony, good looking out. Appreciate it. Nah, that time over here is going. That's the, uh. <laughs> this shit is hilarious to me when y'all niggas donate money and it don't get pinned. I'm sorry. I appreciate the bread, though. I'm going to be 100 with you. But when that shit go up and it just keep on going by, that's, that'd be the hilarious. <laughs> Hold on. You can't be calling me. Shut up, bro. You can't be doing this shit. Hold <laughs> on. Ebony Rods, good looking. <laughs> Original Tavish, what's up, bro? Good looking on that town. I'm about to hit you right now. Yeah. You said, do I fuck with young boy? Yeah, I fuck with young boy. Right. Nah, hold on. Y'all gotta A. Hey. Damn. I'm making a phone call real quick. This old, hold on. This dumbass nigga said it goes. Why do you randomly <laughs> get quiet when you making a phone call? How you gonna ask a question then ask your question right after you dumb bitch? <laughs> This nigga said, why do you get quiet when you make Fuck. Because I'm making a phone call, nigga. That's what I did, man. My, 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 my. Hold up. I, I see the nigga do that one in a minute, though. Right. Hey, fuck your mom, man. Ha 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 ha. What's up? Oh, I, I thought you. Yeah, hey, you put your number up there. I try to act like a prank call. What's up, though? I'm good, man. I got these bars, man. You got some 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 zannies? Nah, I got some bars. Oh, you got that 16, that fire. What city you in, bro? Junior. What's the fam? Ethic 47 shit, you feel me? You said where at? Noon in Georgia, Ethic 47. Everybody calling from Georgia, nigga. Damn. Yeah, yeah. You know where Pierre at or Perry? Oh, hell no, I'm in the country. Yeah, all of Georgia's the country, though. Yeah, yeah. I got the Yeah, bars, yeah. Man. All right, what's up? Let me hear that. Let's go. Okay, shit. Yeah, I 
Every day I gotta stay low key. And if I die today, I was free. I don't dove up in that water, you went up your feet. When I was with the sun, came at they looking at me different. Got a problem, better solve that. I'm carrying this dish, and pussy nigga, better fall back for clip that he with it. Man, he went out in some ball, cause I'm aiming at your face, nigga. <laughs> The fuck you laugh for after that? That was garbage. He said, Did your city, nigga. <laughs> nah, we have to get you out of here, bro. My finger, the only reason why you asked it that long, because my finger didn't uh, quicken up. You know what I'm saying? Hey, like that nigga. <laughs> I fuck with you, though. You up in the country of Georgia? Hey, guess what? Everybody out, look, everybody else out there in the country, too. You know what I'm saying? I still fuck with you, though. Get at me tomorrow. It's crazy that only today, only one nigga that made it through the whole little get up. J Mo, good looking out. No, it's only one nigga that. I... Yeah, J Mo, appreciate it, bro. Nah, he ain't, he ain't dropped no number, no nothing. Oh, yeah, we finna go ahead and hit you. No, I, the highlight is better because I'll be telling y'all niggas to drop y'all number two or three times. So I can go ahead and see this shit, right? But then it keep on going. But when you drop, sometimes YouTube don't like some of you niggas. Y'all dropping, they just don't highlight it. But when you dropping and highlight, then I can see it. And this nigga said he got real bars. Let's see about it. And at the end, if y'all got a YouTube or Instagram or whatever... Shit. Do that. Yo. What up, man? You got a good ass phone. <laughs> yeah, you already know, man. Hey, hey, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't even know that, but. Yeah, hey, I can't believe you, bro. Call me though. Hey, yeah, you, you, you put it up there. Highlight it, man. You put it up there with your number. I'm gonna call you off top. I said this bitch three times for real, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh shit. Send it three more times. I might see. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Already, but hey, man, we gonna get a rock. You know. I where, 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 where you at? What city you in? Hey, I'm in, I'm in uh, Delray Beach, Florida, South Florida. You already know five six one nine five four. All that shit. Yeah, we all know, but we about to find out though, right? Yes, sir. All right, you know how this shit go. All right, let's get a rocking. Let's go. I said. I said, you pussy niggas made me mad. Now I'm finna drop that fire on the air. Hundred band drill guy, I'm looking for the come up and run off on the plug. Run up his ass for the real. What you gonna do, nigga? We up. Long jump shot, and my dog got three up. About to put in work, boy. Walk me room to sleep. Well, splat my shit. No, these fast turn deals. Show up to your job when the scratch like, yeah, but the ring is. I'm playing with the game, no print up. Money, oh, hey, hey, we gonna keep it rocking like that. I'm gonna keep it short. No, we not. Once you fuck up, you gotta get up out of here, bro. Tomorrow, you can't try again, though. And like I said, it ain't like, oh, yeah, niggas is that garbage. They can't come back to the live. They that garbage. They can't come back. <laughs> it's not that, bro. You can still come back to tomorrow. And we still gang. We still homies. It just, that shit wasn't it. It kind of sound like it was it. Then it was going off and on. And then you just threw it all the way off when you said, fuck it. I, I messed up, but we going to keep going. No, we not. <laughs> yeah. He's, he, he, no, that's what I said. It was going in, but then after that, it was just like, you know what I'm saying? Where else, where's the punchline, sir? <laughs> you said... He said, how you donate? That dollar sign right under the chat where you commented at, nigga. They don't do it with, uh, what you call it, phones, though. This nigga said, YNW Melly for life. I can't rap. Yeah. What was that info? Fo, 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 fo. J Mo again with it, huh? We about to get you in, bro. Dun, dun, dun. 
Pick up What's the... up? What's happening with you? <laughs> What's happening? You ain't hanging up on me, cuz. You ain't hanging up on me. I wasn't even laughing at you, though, nigga. I was laughing at the chat. All right, all right. Hey, no. Look, I say... I hold on, on, hold on, hold on, on nigga, damn. Hold on, uh, nigga, damn, what? nigga. What's... Well, let, let us get your name. Let us get your location, uh, nigga. All right, it's J Mo, three one seven Nap Town, bro. Indianapolis shit. Indianapolis. For sure. Hey, what's your? Oh yeah, no, nah, we gonna shout that. Hey, if you get with, will you? Nah, not if. When you get through it, cause I, I, I think you got flow, bro. So when uh, you get through it at the end, go ahead and shout out your Instagram and your YouTube, so you can go ahead and run them over there. And I'm I sure and, and, and I already told you at the end, at the end of the week. I don't know if I'm gonna do it this weekend or next weekend since today already Thursday, but on a Friday or Saturday, bro, we gonna have a little battle for everybody that made, and I'm gonna dish off like a hundred or hundred and fifty dollars to the winner, nigga. For sure, for sure. I don't bro. care if it's freestyle. I don't care if it's written. I just want it to be. Shit, dope. bro, I just, I just care about exposure. Shit, my boy just go to my page and look at my music, bro. Shit, right. that's all. I'm grinding for that shit. Right, right. For all sure. right, you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Say I take your hoe with no weapon, these niggas is stressing they holding up chatter. I'm good, it could get better, the gas came in on schedule. Yeah, yeah, I chased the bag on the highway, I got the eye on the my ways. I had that look on Friday, she slept the saw on my body, she so good I party. <laughs> I don't want no fuck niggas around me, yeah. Jump in that water, you drowning, yeah. Jump in the game and I'm clowning. <laughs> Labels like, how we ain't find her? <laughs> you see my lady, she find her, yeah. Yeah, my homie, he solid, shit. Standing on shit, we a pile of eight. Standing on shit, we a pile of eight. I get the bag and put it away, better prepare yourself. Yeah, I know a nigga got whacked, they had no bread to bury yourself. Yeah, that's yeah. why I stay to myself. Huh? Niggas be out for themselves. Shit, uh, no cookies, that's for the shelf, but we still uh, not for no help. Yeah. Ah, nigga, I'm screenshotting your number right now, bro. We got two. Yeah, bro. Come on now. We got two, I'm fucking with you. Yeah, bro. Uh, hey, check that music out, though, on my YouTube page, though, for real. Just what, like what's, what's, on, what's your YouTube page? J Mo. That's all it is. You right J there. I comment it right there. J Mo? Yup. All right, y'all go, y'all go look him up, man. And then, sure, hey, this, sure, this bro. what you gonna do? I'm telling you, this what they gonna do? They gonna put J Mo, and then DJ Go. So what you do? Go to your tags and your description. And put DJ Go so these niggas can find you. For sure, bro. I got you. Much love, bro. All right, man. One hundred. You said who? Yeah, he was getting it in. He said, fuck with me, ghost, and put his number. No, fuck with me and put that. <laughs> so I can. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. What was that nigga number? Can I sing you some beats? Nope. <laughs> the fuck I need them beats for, the bro? For real, for real. Nah, go ahead and send it to my Gmail, bro. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's attached to my Instagram. Go to my Instagram, look at that Gmail. It's attached right there. Send them up. Yeah. But that's it, man. This podcast over. I'm going to get out y'all later, man. 100.